is a DUI Choose Your Own Adventure Part 29. Play along to see how you do being pulled over suspected of a DUI. Now I've had some drinks tonight. I don't feel that intoxicated, but I might be over the legal limit. This is a terrible position to be in. Don't do this. Take ride chair. Don't put yourself in this position. But you guys have chosen me in this possession, so here we go. When the officer asked me, How much have you had to drink tonight? I told him, Not a thing, officer. Nothing. Now that was a lie, and he did not believe me. He absolutely saw signs of intoxication when I was passing him my license or answering questions. So he asked me, Just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? And I agreed, hoping I could fool him with my roadside gymnastics. But as we learned earlier, I have signs of intoxication. He picked up on that and now he's writing them down continually. So eventually he asked me to blow in the portable breath test. Would you mind performing a portable breath test? Which I decided to do, give it a shot. <sighs> Hoping that it comes below the 0.8. Here's the truth, it doesn't matter what it reads. You see, he's already seen enough signs of intoxication and when he asks you out of the car to perform field sobriety, his plan is to arrest you, and I've just given him everything he needs. So guess what? Handcuffs for me tonight. There's nowhere else to go from here. Oh, did you think if I blew below the legal limit, like maybe a .07, he'd let me go drive home on my own? <laughs> That's not how this works. As soon as I got out of my car to do the field sobriety test, I had already given him indication that I was intoxicated, and from that moment on, he's just gathering evidence, getting ready to arrest me, which he did now. So. To see how you could have played this differently, go back, play a few more choices, or follow 1-800-NO-CUFFS to see how to handle this situation correctly.